Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Zone Readings. This is going to be for my fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, for the upcoming week of August 19th, 2019. So, happy birthday, Virgos! 23rd, we start Virgo season, so hopefully things become more grounded. <laughs> but we still deal with the full moon energy for the time being, too. So, just keep that in mind. What are the major things for my fire signs for the week of August 19th, 2019, please? Okay, so y'all got two bamboo willow, two wine sword, and three wine earth. Angel number 922. Look that up, fire sign. See if that resonates with you. Okay, so for the willow, <clears throat> nine bamboo willow. It makes sense that we would get the nine, right? Nine is about endings, completions. And I just told you that we're still in full moon energy, which is about bringing cycles to an end. As it comes to relationships how you relate to people a lot of stuff is uh ending which makes sense because remember last week you had unexpected answers and unexpected new beginnings so in order for you to get a new beginning something has to end it looks like y'all have been healing it looks like y'all have been grounded some of y'all are barely hanging in there but you hanging in there <laughs> the sun came out and i said that so keep doing that keep staying grounded to who you are keep despite the storm right realize that things are working out two wine sword so this is about, two is the number of balance, about partnerships, cooperation. Yet the sword is about severing things or making sacrifices. So this could be making a sacrifice in a partnership, in a relationship, or as for something that relates to another person, right? So it may not necessarily be in a partnership itself, but making a sacrifice for something that affects another person. Then you got the three wine earth, another wine suit. Very interesting. Earth is about your environment, your being balanced. It's about being grounded. It's about being open, right? Because look, if you look at this card, everything's open. The sky's the limit. So being open to the possibility, honestly, of your surroundings and the things that are happening. Altogether, I feel like some of y'all are just kind of uh, hmm you're healing and that's good some of you are kind of like now what kind of like now what you are confused about the next step that you're supposed to take in your life but we about to clarify that we about to clarify that maybe as a result of your new beginnings right oh you got the sword again right you're like okay i got these new beginnings and that's all fine and good but now what? Or I got the unexpected answers, but now what? Okay, so this is definitely about a partnership. I already said that. Ha. So another two, two bamboo duck, which is definitely about partnerships. Under the willow, we're healing partnerships. Or again, for some of you, you've decided to go your separate ways completely, right? Because those ducks are facing two different directions. Some of you could be even dealing with the Pisces. And the two wine swords. So yeah, duck, sword, under sword, letting something go. Or again, some of you are making a sacrifice in the name of a partnership. But I don't really get that. I get that this is healing a relationship and agreeing to go your separate ways, realizing that it served its purpose, and now it's time for something else. That something else may require sacrifices of its own, though. Four bamboo carp. So after all of this, there is a need for balance and stability and it's coming it's coming he is stable now he has built a stable life he's sitting on rock right rock is the most stable substance ever and then look at what's happening the carp is coming to him the information is coming to him his abundance is coming to him he is uh, meditating and allowing himself to just kind of be at peace after having dealt with this situation so for some of y'all it's y'all literally are gonna have to walk away from something and that don't surprise me because a lot of times just in general as a human we hold on to things way longer than we supposed to so the fact that that message comes out repeatedly <laughs> is no surprise right seven one seven stars so some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius <laughs> sorry could be dealing with an Aquarius 
that you're letting go of or a partnership. This is also spiritual. So again, the universe wants you to know that your partnerships are supposed to be spiritual. Whatever you letting go of, whatever you are doing away with, cleansing your life of, it serves its purpose. A lot of people make it seem like the past is bad, our exes are bad, our past jobs are bosses. No, it's not about that. It's about things serving their purpose and then being needed, needed to be released. That is the one thing I want to say. It doesn't necessarily think, mean even things that went sour, right? It don't mean, oh, we got into it. So it's, you know, sometimes things just serve their purpose. And the, the universe gives you a gentle nudging like, okay, you've learned from that. You've grown. You've healed from that situation. That situation was brought into your life to heal you. That was it, right? You try to turn it into something else that wasn't meant to be long term, no matter what it was. So the seven stars also tells you to focus on your dreams and your ambitions, what you really want to accomplish, right? Making sure that your spirit aligns, your partnerships are in spiritual alignment. Look at that, three twos, that you are leading your own life. You're taking charge of your own destiny and not letting somebody else lead you. Nine circles, unicorn. Another nine, completions. Now, I like this because the unicorn is about being honest with yourself. It's about being, listening to your intuition, which is what I just said. It's about being unique, being happy, being free. So for some of you, this partnership that you are severing will allow you to be free if you be honest with yourself. It'll be it'll allow you to be more you, right? Because right now you kind of, I feel like you are kind of acquiescing to whatever this partnership requires. This could be a job, this could be anything. I don't necessarily get romance here, but for some of you it might be, right? It's allowing you, this could be even living circumstances where you live, right? Because we have the earth. Your house, your your apartment, your neighborhood, the city you live in, right? You've kind of molded yourself to fit it, even though that's not you. But if you're honest with yourself and you are in tune with your spirit and you are in tune with what you really want, you will know that that ain't you. Look, the North card. That ain't you. That's not even, it's, that's not who you are. Not by any means. So the last cards we got. Oh, wow. A guardian for the last card. That's hilarious. This card, it's like I insist on being seen in this spread. Wow. Okay, so. You got, in clarifying the earth, you got the center card. Everything being, going as it's supposed to. This could be about romance. So if you are letting go of something, don't feel like nothing else is coming in. It is. This is everything that's on the money. You are being divinely guided. And I think it's very interesting that this card is clarifying the earth, which is a three already. So that's three, three, three. That's the ascended masters. That's your being guided from above onto the, the right path. Everything is right on target. See, you scared of this willow tree. Like, oh, this is, I'm just barely hanging in there, right? Not realizing the roots that you have that are within the earth, right? Not realizing that. Once you get rid of what you need to get rid of, you'll be strong. Everything will be abundant. Look at this tree. It's strong. This tree ain't going nowhere. It has everything it needs. One circle pearl. Being reflective. Looking in the mirror. What did I tell you? Right underneath the unicorn. Being honest with yourself. Seeing your worth. Knowing your worth. Right? Pearl. A pearl is something that is extravagant. Right? It's highly prized in Western culture and our culture. You don't just cast your pearls to swine. Don't do that. And at the same time, she's looking at what? The moon. She's looking at the reflection of the moon. She's making sure that she's in tune with her emotions. Is this what I really want? Is this what my soul wants? Not only that, the moon represents emotions, but the moon also is cosmic. Is this what the universe wants for me? Last two cards. You got a guardian, which is very odd for the last card, but we'll, we'll work with it. So you got the six bamboo water. <laughs> Um, which is about communication, healing, domestic situations, right? Traveling. But then you also got it with the farmer, which is about working hard. Um, kind of, it's about abundance too, right? Reaping your harvest, but definitely working hard. So together it's saying you could have some issues with traveling. You should, could have some issues with moving on, honestly, because you just, you see that something has to be done away with. There could be a problem. Don't, don't let that stop you or deter you. Right? Don't let that deter you. Don't let the path being windy. You're saying, well, I went here and then I went there and I thought that was it. Don't let that deter you. There could be some issues with healing, right? We got that water and the willow. Don't let that deter you. The solution is just to work harder. Grind. Fire signs. That ain't nothing new for y'all. 
you are reaping your harvest. The abundance is coming. You just got to keep working on the right thing. Aha. That's it. That's your message. Make sure that you are working on the right thing, fire signs. Because y'all work hard. That ain't the, the question. But if you're working towards something that no longer serves you, something that y'all seeing don't see eye to eye, something that's supposed to have been severed, something that was just a karmic situation anyway, something that was only temporary, right? Whether it be living situation, work situation, love, romance, you name it, school, then it's not going to align, right? You're going to keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Look at that. Look at that. Back and forth. Look at that. Back and forth. You're going to keep being confused. Like, well, universe, I thought I'm working on my dreams. You told me to do that. That's because you have to know when to let things go. There are certain things that come up on your path that are there to teach you a lesson. You learn a lesson and you keep going. You don't just stay there. You don't keep tripping over the obstacle. You don't pick up that rock and take it with you. You figure out a way to, around it and then you keep it moving. The solution is just keep grinding. Work on the right thing. Work on what you need to be working on to reap your harvest. Fire signs. Y'all working hard, but y'all not necessarily working on the right stuff. And that could even be with who you are, too. Maybe you working on um, money, right? And you see your money situation is good, but you supposedly working on your spirituality or cleaning up your relationships. Aries. One circle pearl. All right, Aries. Angel number 110. Look it up. See if it resonates with you. I think this is interesting, interesting that you got the one because Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. And go-getter, right? The number one is about that. Making things happen. Taking initiative. Circle, right? money business commerce but look what's next to that circle what's next to that money aries what did i tell you the moon which governs your emotions you have to be aware and in alignment with who you are i just told you that you cannot just go out here and get money any way you choose or any way that comes because remember life is a game you're gonna get multiple options that you ain't gotta worry about doesn't necessarily mean it's right for you the universe presents a buffet for you to choose just because something lands on your path don't mean that you were supposed to take it right so for you Aries that means yes look how ext extravagant you are look at your abundance but also look at yourself are your methods for making money in alignment with spirit with the universe with your soul with who you are are you able to look at yourself in the mirror that's your question answer it all right Sagittarius eight one nine all right, angel number 628. Look that up, Sagittarius. See if it resonates with you. So, yeah, I got the knife. Karmic ties all over it. Karmic ties. Here's the thing. Eight is also the number of financial abundance, right? So, again, y'all are holding on to money, right? A, a, a way of making money or you, you're trying to make money through a tie that does not serve you, though. Because, remember, you had the sword twice, in that the knight didn't come up in general but the sword did so there is a karmic tie that you are holding on to for the sake of money that you're supposed to let go of that you've been supposed to let go of things will look a lot different for you Sagittarius once you do that Leo seven circles insect angel number 617 look it up Leo see if it resonates so Seven is the number of spirituality. Six plus one is seven. <laughs> this reading was like, wow. Spiritually, are you aligning how you make money, how you do business? Is it alignment in alignment with your spirit? Is it in alignment? Look, the sun just came out when I said that. It is, is it in alignment with who you are? Are your partnerships in alignment with for you to uh, be happy and to be happy on a spiritual level, right? Not just, okay, we get money, we get money. But how do these two entities align spiritually? You have to look at that. Leo, that is time out for all that other stuff. Because these insects aren't necessarily being productive, right? And that means for you, not necessarily being productive for your spirit, for your evolutionary growth. So reevaluate and examine your partnerships, all of them, Leo. All of them. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good week. Peace out.